Kubiak is only 52 years old, but he collapsed as he was walking off the field at the end of the first half. The team says he didn't have a heart attack. He's undergoing tests to determine what did happen. Let's bring in Dr. Jennifer Cottle, a family physician, and joining me now from Philadelphia this, this morning to talk more about this. Dr. Cottle, great to see you. Good to see you, too. So, as you just heard Ed reporting, the team says he did not have a heart attack, but that he had an episode. He was lightheaded and was dizzy. Of course, you have not had the opportunity to see the coach, but what does that tell you? Right. Lightheadedness and dizziness, uh, can uh, those can be very vague symptoms. They're, they can be very serious, but they could also lead to a number of different things. So as physicians, one of the things we want to do is kind of try to narrow down which direction we need to go. Um, we need to look at the heart sometimes with lightheadedness and dizziness. Uh, we need to look at the lungs and check for breathing. Oftentimes, we also need to look at the brain and make sure the brain is pr functioning properly, as well as getting blood work just to see kind of what's going on metabolically uh, in the patient body and the team also said that he's awake and coherent and that his family was with him but the areas that you're describing the brain the lungs the heart these are all very serious areas of the body that could have real consequences the fact that he's awake and coherent and possibly even returning to see the team what does that indicate kind of as a hit of his condition he's in the clear well, you know, I think it's important and very good that he's coherent, that he's awake, and that he's likely working with his doctors right now. You know, one of the things that's really important with situations like this is a patient's story. And what I mean by that is the story about what happened when they were having the symptoms and the particular patient's uh, medical history themselves. So a patient's, his medical history is likely going to play a big part in this, what surgeries he's had, what medications he's on, what other medical conditions he's had as well. So I think it's great that he is awake. He's alert, but um, I can pretty much tell you that there's going to be lots of testing undergone, mm -hmm. and his medical history really will play in, a role in that as well. And medical history is a huge part of this, I am sure. Such a strange coincidence, though, doctor, that this happens just a day after the Denver Broncos coach goes into the hospital for a heart condition. They say that he had been suffering from dizziness as well. No connection between the two, obviously. But when you think about it, head coaches of these uh, professional football teams, how does stress play on someone? How does stress of the job, could that impact a coach like this? Well, you know, let me just tell you about stress in general. Stress in general can impact anyone in many, many different ways. Stress can absolutely negatively impact us. And, 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 and again, in every patient, it manifests very differently. You know, I think it's really important here when we look at the signs and the symptoms of dizziness and lightheadedness. I mentioned looking at the brain, looking at the heart, looking at the lungs. You know, these are big areas of the body, Kate, as you mentioned, that we want to look into, making sure that the heart is functioning properly, that it's beating and that it's delivering blood the way it needs to, that the patient's able to breathe properly, and also that the brain is functioning as well. So can stress absolutely impact a patient's health? The answer to that, the short answer is yes. It can impact anyone in any, uh, any different ways, but a patient's medical history really does matter here too. One good thing here is both of these coaches, both of these men, to be sure, have very good doctors that they're consulting at this moment. Dr. Jennifer Cottle, great to see you. Thank you.